because this is a real jungle. Yeah, North Memphis is a real jungle. I wouldn't dare to tell what they tell me. One of my cousins came in and his son, ninth grade, had a heart, mass heart attack and died a couple days ago. He think I'm going to burn his ear. He said, how about you think I'm going to burn your ear? I had a lot they put some cologne and stuff on your arm because you're reaching around people. Hey, hey, you see, and hey, you come in, you won't have no, no smell, no alcohol, no liquor, no nothing on me. I mean, some fresh. I was born November 12, 1932, to a family of 17 kids. Oh, I was five, six years old. We started picking cotton as soon as you started walking, really. You got there with your mom and dad, putting cotton in their sack. So when you got a little bigger, you give you a sack and you pick your own, have your own room. I knew that it had to be a brighter somewhere, brighter day, you know. And I found out one thing, if you believe it, you can achieve it. So I was pretty successful. These are the ideas I had when I was a little boy. And uh, doing hair, traveling, all the stuff, and billboards and pictures, and all that came true. What I did was, uh, I just believed that I could do it. But I, I had hope. I had hope that things would be better. If you foot hurts you, help you, you know, you gotta, gotta get restless and move on up. But she can peel chicken, you're gonna have a lot of little small feathers on it. Little baby feathers, so we burn them off. And I got the idea of doing hell the same way. I really got it down pat now. I really believe I got it pat. And then you can have it, I ain't shipping one man on fire. One. Since I've been doing hell. But what happened, I didn't perfect this thing overnight. It took a while to perfect it. I can burn this side of my head and cut this side. This side I burn stay even longer. No if, in, but, about it. It's just as fascinating to me as it is anybody else. I just can't believe I, I do it myself. I like people and people like me. And I was telling you, if you man go to Bible school because you, I said, you'll always have a job. There always will be some money available for you in the hair business because you're going to make some money because hair going to grow. I don't care how to get the hair going to grow. When it's too hot, the farm will probably burn up. The rain too much, the construction man can't work for the rain. But hair will stay to grow. You're going to get up, your hair going to grow a certain length of time after you die. So if you're even you know, able to do hair in the film home and do dead folks hair, you still got hair. And uh, it, I, I got to love my job with a passion. I ain't been out working there for 50 years. I love it. And if I had to live my life over again, I would do the same thing over and over again. Music is the new talk about, we're not doing you all about.